This is the most ruthless way of revenge I've ever seen. First give the enemy a personality gender change. Then give the enemy a whole face. David was tied to the operating table when TTHE Dr. Underthew was performing a crazy operation. When he woke up again, he found that he had lost the foundation of manhood. David was terrified, but then something even scarier happened. The doctor came into the room and pulled out a row of dilators. He said they were for his post-op repair, starting with the smallest dilator. He told him to keep using them every day until David stopped rejecting them. After one sex change operation after another, the doctors finally made David look like a woman. This flawless face can knew this flawless face so well because it was made to look like his dead wife. The doctor's name was William. He was one of the leading cosmetic surgeons in the industry. He has developed the most perfect artificial skin in the world. Every inch of David's body is was artificial. This skin has advantages that ordinary skin can not match. When he burns his body with heat, there is was no pain. The mosquitoes are or too scared to bite him. After David became a woman, but his punishment did not end. William gave her a new name, Della. She was locked in a room by William. She and was supervised by cameras 24 hours a day. To protect her skin, he made Bella wear shapewear at all times. She was wrapped up in a full body suit. Even her voice was changed to a female voice. Bella still did not give up escaping, only to be caught every time. She also thought about killing herself, but William's excellent medical skills kept her from dying. Gradually, Bella stopped thinking about killing herself and escaping. Instead, she stayed in the house. She lived as a canary with no freedom. The television came and went with only a few channels. When she was bored, Bella had to practice yoga to pass the time. William tried to get her used to being a woman. From time to time, he would bring Bella beautiful dresses, but she would tear them up in anger. In addition, the room was fully stocked with makeup, but all Bella did was write on the walls with eyeliner. She would end record every day of her captivity to prove that she was alive. Who would have thought that this angelic looking woman was a man not long ago? She was locked in a room by a doctor every day and watched 24 hours a day. A man man looking at Bella's perfect body like a work of art. The face that came from his scalpel, it looked exactly like his dead wife's. Finally, William could not resist entering the room. Bella asked desperately when she would be free. William turned to leave after hearing this, but Bella slowly moved closer to tempt him a little. It worked, and William quickly ran away. The mother on the other end of the monitor saw his embarrassment in the face of the woman. Her instincts told her that her son's behavior would sooner or later lead to disaster. She urged him to get rid of Bella as soon as possible, but William's obsession is was still there. He was obsessed with Bella's beauty and possessiveness. That is, until the dog Yuna day, a strangely dressed visitor arrived at the house. He was his half-brother. He was also a vicious bastard. He was the one who abducted William's wife and ran away. He ended up in a car accident. The bastard brother selfishly and shamelessly escaped. But William Shee's wife was badly burned. She couldn't stand her own disfigured body. The wife so she jumped out of the window and committed suicide. This scene was seen by the young daughter. It caused a serious psychological shadow to her. Since childhood, she had to take medication to stabilize her emotions. William hated him so much when his brother came back and saw his sister-in-law resurrected on the surveillance. He was tempted again. He kidnapped his mother, stole the key and opened the room. He assaulted Bella. William came home and saw this shocking scene. He killed his brother on the spot, adding old grudges to new ones. After the incident, William felt very guilty for Bella. Her confinement was lifted. She was allowed to go out freely. Bella also seemed to adapt to the changes in her body. She wore dresses and high heels. She often went out shopping with her mother-in-law. One day, she came into William's office. She saw a search notice in the newspaper. She realized that all these years, her mother had never given up looking for her. The hatred buried in her heart suddenly overwhelmed her. She had never seen such with a graceful man, except for besides his body shape and appearance. Even his voice was exactly the same as a woman's. Being a woman for so long, David had almost forgotten that he was a man. Back then he went to a cocktail party. He met a beautiful and beautiful girl. After falling in love at first sight, David took the girl to the woods and assaulted her. Afterwards, David quickly fled the scene on his bike. When he came out, he ran into the girl's father. The father followed the scattered clothes and found his daughter in the woods. The assault aggravated his daughter's condition, who was already suffering from mental disorder. Soon after, she was depressed and jumped to her death. William wanted to get back at the animal who hurt his daughter. Find so she found David's address. Once when he went out alone, he followed him in his car and knocked him unconscious on the side of the road. David woke up and found himself in a dark cave. His hands and feet were chained. There was nothing to eat but a basin of water. A short time later, William came to the cave, looking at the beast that killed his daughter. The anger in his heart could not be restrained, so he tied him to the operating table and called in his research partners, lying that David had volunteered for the sex change operation. So he turned David into a woman with the appearance of his. 
dead wife. He turned David into a woman step by step and named her Bella. Six years have passed since then, David became submissive from his initial resistance. Even subconsciously he thought he was a woman. William David was faced with the face of his beloved wife every day. Gradually, he fell in love with her. They lived a normal married life. The hatred of the past also disappeared like a cloud. Until the day Bella saw her own ad in the newspaper. Only then did she realize that her mother had been looking for her. So the hatred buried in her heart could no longer be suppressed. Six years of captivity made her determined to take revenge. That night, Bella found in gun in her study. When she returned to her room, she took advantage of William's defenselessness defenselessness. She shot and killed him. Downstairs, William, her mother heard the gunshot. She ran upstairs in a defensive manner. Upon entering, she saw her son in a pool of blood. At that moment, a hand reached out from under the bed. The old woman was instantly shot and killed. Bella wiped the fingerprints off the gun after killing them on them. Kersha took the money and escaped from the cage where she had been imprisoned for six years. When she returned home, Heiser family didn't recognize him or no matter how much Bella explained. Bella could not change the fact that she had become a woman. This is the end of the story. See you in the next video.